Hey guys, so I didn't get to do an intro for this video, so this is our intro for today. But I'm pretty sure you guys already see what this look is on by the title and by the thumbnail. I'm just going to be applying some um, concealer to my eyes right now. I'm just patting it, making sure we get a nice even layer. I'm grabbing my Urban Decay Born to Run palette and I'm just grabbing the shade Riff. This is a beautiful, toasty, um, brown kind of color. I absolutely love browns like this and I'm just packing that on in the inner corner, really creating the shape that I want. At first I packed it on and then I'm going in with small circular strokes to really blend that color out. I'm blending it in about halfway and then I'm going to pack a darker color in the outer corner. So, but for now you just really want to focus on getting that shape down. I find that lately I um, create my shape better when I start from the inner corner. Now I'm taking the Tarte's Pro Palette from Tarte and I'm just dipping in that really deep brown shade. And I'm packing that in on the outer corner and I'm going to blend that into that shade Riff. And then I'm also going to drag out that color to kind of just, you know, help out that um, cat eye shape that we're going for. Try not to take that color up too far, but you do want to make that brown very deep and you want to make sure that it meets the Riff shade in the beginning. Um, now I'm going in and I'm just cutting that crease. So when you cut the crease, you want to take your time. You don't want to try to rush the process at all. You want to create your line little by little. Kind of just imagine um, how you want your shape and then like what you saw me do right there, I kind of just traced it out before I actually went in and applied my product. And created that shape so I kind of just traced it out first very 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 faintly and lightly towards the end and then I went in and I really cut that crease now I'm just dabbing some um, this I want to say this is a white like a very light beige on my eyelids um, you can use any light beige I just grabbed mine from the Tartis Pro palette and then I grabbed the Tartis clay paint and I'm using that to line my eyes guys I've had this product for years and this is my first time using it because I was so bad at, when, at um, using any type of gel liners. But now, your girl is doing her thing with it. The brush that you see me using here helped me out so much. It's so thin and so precise. It helps you get the most cleanest lines. You're completely in control of your work when you're using this brush. When, but although when you are using the tar clay paint, you do want to work with that um, little by little because that product is super 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 creamy and you can very easily make a mess on your eyelids with that so you want to work with it a little by little and just like you see me taking my time getting my shape down getting my lines down and then I'm just gonna create the wing and connect everything Try your best not to create this wing too thick because you still want to leave space for us to add that glitter in between the wing and the cut crease. So this holographic glitter that you see me using is from Badass Cosmetics. I'm just going to apply that with some duo glue. I'm going to use a very light amount and I'm going to try to just per, um, apply it like scattered if that makes any sense because I don't want the um, glitter to come to overpower the eyeshadow. I still want the shadow to come through. I want the glitter to look like it was miscellaneously placed. So I'm just going in little by little and I'm um, very light handed with the dual glue. Also being sure to be very light handed with the glitter because that dual glue is strong honey and once you place that glitter it will stay stuck. Hey guys, so we're done with the eyes for now. I'm just going to go in and prep my face with the Tarte Rainforest of the C primer. I really do like this primer, but just be warned, it is primarily oil and not water. But it still works pretty good, but if you're oily, don't just don't even try it. I'm going to go in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation, and I'm just going to mix those two shades you saw me using, and I'm going to um, dab that in. It looks like I'm being really aggressive, but I promise you I was being really light. <laughs> I'm using the Pure Cosmetics brush to blend that in. Okay, so now I'm grabbing my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to be applying that underneath my eye and I'm going to be extending it towards the temple. I'm going to be applying that in a triangular shape and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to blend that out with my um, Beauty Blender. Taking it back towards your temple is going to help lift your features and it's just going to make everything come together when you start bronzing, bronzing or contouring. Okay. 
So now we're just going to be finishing up the eyes with the shade Riff. I'm going to be smoking that out on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to be, again, very lightly, I'm going to be patting on some of that dual lash glue. And I'm going to be taking a little bit more of that glitter. And I'm going to be applying it to the very inner corner of my um, lower lash line. So we're going in with bronzer only today. I'm not going to be contouring. I'm taking the Fenty um, Sun Soaker in the shade Private Island and I'm applying that all over the face basically. I'm not really trying to be too neat with this. I just overall wanted a really bronzy look. So I'm grabbing the Wet n Wild's I'm So Lit Loose Highlighter. I did not know Wet n Wild had a loose highlighter until a couple months ago. And this is my first time using it. And let me tell you, this thing is pigmented. I sat there and I was blending it out for a minute because it was looking for like a zebra stripe for a little while. And mm -mm, we can't have that. And for lips, I just took the MAC um, Satin Lipstick in the shade Snob and I put that all over my lips. And then I went in with some lip gloss. I believe I used the Marc Jacobs um, Enamored Lip Gloss in the shade Rio. Yes, in the shade Rio. It's my favorite of all time. And this is a completed look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did.